Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study another way of reading the clock and telling the time using the words past and till. And let's first look at the past because it is easier. You've already learned to say the time here. And let's just do it the normal way we have used to. First, you tell the hours. The hour hand over here is at 11, so the time is 11 hours, right? And then 10 minutes. Remember, for the minute hand, we need to count by fives. Okay, five and 10. And now the other way of saying this same time is that we will say how many minutes it is past the whole hour. We will say it is 10 minutes past 11. And that means 10 minutes past 11 hours. Okay? So it's pretty simple. It kind of looks like I switched the numbers 11 there and 10 there and put the word past in between. Let's try another one. Over here. Let's just first write it the way we are used to. You look at the hour hand. So it is past 2 o'clock, 2 something, 2 hours, and then the minutes. Look at the minute hand. Over there, count by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 2, 25. And now the other way of saying it, we will say the minutes first. How many minutes it is past the whole hour? 25 past 2. Or you can say 25 minutes past 2. And we will use this past whenever the minute hand is here. 5 past something, 10 past, 15 past or 20 past, or 25 past, up to when it is right here, pointing straight down, which is the half past. The half past actually is 30 minutes past the whole hour, but we will say it as half past the whole hour. Now we're going to just do a few more exercises. But before I, did I tell you those, why don't you post the video and try them on your own? OK, now this one. Look at the hour hand over here between 6 and 7, so it is 6 hours, right? And the minutes, can you tell? 20, 6, 20. And the other way of saying it, 20 past 6. Over here, our hand at 6, again. Minute hand, just 5 minutes, OK? 6.05 or 5 past 6. And the last one for now, hours are 9, and the minutes, 15. So it is 15 past 9. And now, the other one I told you about using the till, which is a little bit more tricky. But let's look at it. We use the word till to say how many minutes till the next, fo next whole hour. For example, here, the minute hand is just 5 minutes till the next for whole hour, which is seven hours, OK? So this time is five till seven, five minutes till seven hours, OK? So let me write it here. Now, the usual way of saying this that you already know is actually a bit more difficult. Because for that, if you remember, we were looking at the hour hand, and we figured that it's not yet seven o'clock. So it is still six hours something. And then we count it by fives. Remembering here is 30 minutes, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. This was 6.55. And it is also five minutes till seven. So these two look really different from each other, right? Let's look at here. We will figure out how many minutes till the next whole hour. How many minutes does the minute hand need to move to get all the way up here to the next whole hour? Which the next whole hour, when it is up here, then you will have exactly 5 o'clock. But how many minutes till 5 o'clock? You can, for example, count by fives backwards from here, like this. 5, 10, and 15. And figure out it's 15 minutes till 5. Let me write it here. And now, the other way of saying the same time was that we say hours and then minutes. OK? And for that, it's not yet 5 o'clock, so it's still 4 hours. And the minutes, counting by fives, 30, 
35. Here's the minute hand. How many minutes till the next whole hour? And what is the next whole hour? Okay, the minute hand needs to move two steps, so to speak. So that makes 10 minutes, because you count by fives, okay? Five and 10. Or you can count from here. Five and 10, either way. So 10 minutes till, but what is the next whole hour? The hour hand is almost coming to one, so it is one. 10 till one. And the other way of saying it, since it's not yet one o'clock, we will have to say it is 12 hours and so many minutes. Okay, 12 and counting by fives. If here's 30 minutes, 35, 40, 45, and 50. 12, 50. Over here, minute hand is here. How many minutes till the next whole hour? Okay, we count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. 20 minutes till, till what hour? The hour hand is gonna be at one, so 20 minutes till one. And then the other way, again, it is not yet one o'clock, it is just 12 hours, and then 30, 35, 40, 40 minutes. The last one is a little bit of a challenge because we don't have the numbers on the clock face, okay? Can you figure out what time it is? This is the hour hand, this is the minute hand. Notice the minute hand has just one step to go till the next whole hour. So it is just, it's not one minute till something, it is five minutes till because one step here means five minutes. It is five minutes till the next whole hour. What is the next whole hour? The hour hand is gonna be at seven. And the other way of saying it, since it's not yet seven hours, it is still six hours something. And if you remember over here will be 55 minutes. Matthew has a challenge for you, just wait a second. What time is it if it is 55 minutes till three? Oh, that's kind of weird. What time is it? Well, it's 55 minutes till three, Matthew. Well, actually, there's another way of saying that. What's the usual way of saving such a funny time? 55 minutes till three. You know this whole clock face is 60 minutes, right? So if I was here, if my minute hand was here, it would have 60 minutes to go till the next whole hour. So when it goes here, then here it has 55 minutes to go till the next whole hour. So the minute hand is here. So that is five past. This is actually five past two. Did you get the same? Hope so. We are done with this lesson.